welcome to today's workout. My name is Rachel. I'm so excited to be leading you through a lower body workout today. So we're gonna be hitting the legs, the glutes, getting it nice and warm, working on our strength. Make sure that you hit the like button, subscribe, notification bells, all that good stuff so you don't miss when I post my next workout. For today, you need an optional booty band. We need a light set of weights, probably like five to 10, then a couple of heavy sets of weights. I'm working with 25s and 30s and eight for my lighter set. And I've got a booty band here. Grab a sweat towel, water, your mat, and that's all you need, just you and those things and we get into it. All right, we're gonna start with a quick little warm up today. It's gonna be about a minute of just dynamic movements to get the blood flowing, get our muscles ready to work. All right, here we go. We're gonna start with butt kicks here. So take it side to side, really trying to kick that heel to the glute. Yeah, everyone, nice. Good, keep following along here. We're gonna take one squat, twist side to side. Keep going here while I talk a little bit about the, war the workout today. So we have two circuits of all functional movements, including squats, hinges, and lunges. Speaking of lunges, let's take a little over side to side action, warming up the groin and the hamstrings here. Good. We're gonna go 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. Nice, everyone. Take it center, take a couple of bends and stretches here, bend the knees and stretch good a couple more just like that so we have a little cardio blast for the fifth exercise in each circuit so we're going to keep those heart rates up guys don't you worry <laughs> nice heel toe your feet together bend down beautiful everyone and stretch it up a couple more just like that nice and last one here beautiful everyone we're gonna roll up nice and slow. Head is the last thing to roll up. All right, let's get into it. So we're gonna start off with a goblet squat. We are picking up one heavy weight for this, or if you only have two light weights, go ahead and pick up two. I'll show you how you can do that. But I've got 30 pounds that I'm working with here. I would probably be going heavier if I wasn't also talking through this. So just keep that in mind. We are going to lower down to a goblet squat, holes at the bottom, squeeze the glutes on the way up. I'm in a nice neutral stance. Hips are just a little bit wider than hip distance apart. Toes ever so slightly turned out. We're starting together in five seconds. Grab those weights, roll those shoulders down and back. Abs are tight, let's go. Three, two, and one. So I'm lowering down, pulsing at the bottom, squeezing at the top. Good, lower down, pulse, Squeeze the top, beautiful everyone. Getting these glutes activated right away here. Keeping your weight in your heels, yeah. Sitting back, nice and low in those hips. Notice that I'm keeping my back super tall here. Abs are fighting to stay engaged. Shoulders are away from the ears. Nice everyone. We have 10 more seconds left here. Yes, don't forget to breathe. There you go, inhale down, exhale up. Yep, you wanna hear that breath. We have five, four, three, two, last one. Nice job, everyone. We are going into a Romanian deadlift. Both legs, both hands are picking up a weight. So I'm gonna use 25s here. For this Romanian deadlift, you wanna stand in a neutral position again, roll those shoulders down and back. Think hinging at the hips. Glutes are gonna go backwards. I'm keeping a soft bend in my knees. I'm squeezing at the top. Join me in three, two, and one. So I'm gonna face the side here so you can see. I'm painting my legs, keeping those dumbbells really close to my shins. This is really gonna target those hamstrings, yeah. Squeezing at the top, beautiful everyone. Nice, again, keeping those shoulders down and back. You wanna keep a neutral spine here. So lengthening your neck in line with your tailbone. We're stopping about shin height, mid shin height, depending on your flexibility. I know I've got a lot of dancers watching, so you might be a little bit more flexy here. You can go a little bit lower. That's okay. Just find that nice pause and squeeze at the top. Good, we have 15 seconds left, guys. You'll notice I'm taking my time going down and then I'm really thrusting forward, squeezing my glutes at the top. That's what you want. That's really gonna activate those glutes nice and strong. Beautiful, everyone. We have five seconds left. Yes, we can. You got this. If this feels a little easy, 
Last two, finish this last one. Then next time I want you to step up your weight, yeah? I could probably go a little heavier, so just keep that in mind. We're going into reverse lunge with a pulse kickback. So I'm actually gonna pick up those same weights that I just put down. I would probably recommend 20 to 25 depending on your skill level, your strength right now. So we are going to take a reverse lunge. So I'm stepping back, finding 90 degree angles in both of my knees. As I come up, I'm fighting to keep that balance and I'm going to kick my leg behind me, yeah? So we're gonna reverse lunge, stand up, kick it, squeeze those bits at the top. We go together in three, two, and one. All right, so we're stepping back, driving through that front heel, keeping a soft bend in the knee. We squeeze that working leg behind us. Finding that moment of balance, yeah? Our next circuit, we're really gonna work a lot on unilateral work. So focusing on one leg for about three exercises in a row. So right now is a good time to enjoy this alternating because <laughs> it's gonna get spicy on one leg in that next circuit. <sighs> yes, guys, beautiful. We have 15 seconds left. Trying to get even on both sides, yeah? So make sure that you're finishing with an even amount of numbers. I'm finding that nice mind-muscle connection in that glute right here in that kickback. It's beautiful, everyone. Woo. Five seconds, four, three, two. And like I said, I'm gonna finish this out evenly. This is my last one, then we rest. Nice, everyone, good job. We are going into weighted glute bridge with an abduction. That means going away from each other with our knees. I'm gonna use my booty band for this. If you've got one, now's a good time to throw that baby on. And I'm gonna grab my heaviest weight that I have today, which is a 30 pound, but you could probably go even heavier than that. We're gonna lay it on down here. We are going to take that weight on our hips, kind of hold it and support it so it's not gonna roll down on your face. <laughs> and keeping those feet pressing into the floor, we squeeze the glutes at the top, driving those heels into the floor. Then we have an abduction. So that means my knees are opening and closing in, yeah? Then we lower down, we lift, we open, lift a little bit higher on that squeeze, and then we lower. We go together, three, two, one. So lift, squeezing those glutes even harder as you open the knees, fighting for that highest, tightest squeeze, yeah? And by highest, I don't mean I want you to go all the way up here, yeah? You should still keep your upper back on the floor we're really just thinking about in those pulses up, that tight, tight, tight squeeze of the glutes. You guys are doing so strong. We have 16 seconds left. Stay with me here. Yes, we can. Woo. Nice, everyone. 10 seconds, making sure that we're fighting for that high, high range. Keep taking those heels into the floor. Pressing those knees out, opening, and working on those medial glutes. Last three, two, and one, Whew, yes, on fire. So if that didn't feel impossible by the end, you know you can go heavier. I'm always gonna keep encouraging you. All right, now we have our cardio blast. We have in, out with a burpee and a beast. It's gonna look like this. We go in, out, touch the floor, in, out, burpee, beast. Now I'm gonna show you from the side here. The beast part goes like this. Glutes to heels, bring it back. You're gonna feel it in your quads and your glutes. Then we start again with the in out. We go together in three, two, one. So in out, sitting those hips low. Burpee, beast, front again, in out. There we go guys, getting these heart rates up. Nice. So I'm just turning to face the side so you can see me on that beast. But you can totally just stay facing this way if you want. Totally up to you. Woo, yes guys. We have 15 seconds left. Stay with me here. We'll get a water break in just five, four, three, two, and one. Get that water. Woo, do not forget to hydrate, friends. So strong, so strong. My heart rate's up. How you doing? Good, good, good. Check in with yourself. 
challenge. Did that feel a little easy? Did it feel like you can't make it through another round? If the second one, don't worry, I promise you, you can. If the first one, challenge yourself, add the booty band, pick up a heavier weight. I know you got this. All right, we are going back in together, doing all of that one more time. You and me, we got this. Yeah, no big deal. Okay, starting in five seconds with that goblet squat. I'm gonna challenge myself to throw on the booty band. We go in three, two, one. You've got that heaviest weight right now. Lower, pulse to the bottom, squeeze it on up. Yes, guys, nice. Lower, squeeze. So I'm bringing those elbows down to meet my knees. I want you at least that low, yeah? Keeping those shoulders down and back. Nice, tall spine. Don't forget to breathe. I know, y'all, I know. We have 20 seconds left on the clock. You are so strong and capable. I know this is tough, but I promise you are tougher, yeah? We got eight seconds. Let's get two more reps in. Last five, four, keep those knees over the toes. Three, two, last one. Nice job on those goblet squats, friends. Okay, ditching the weight, ditching the band. We're going into Romanian deadlift. Slow counts down, quick count up. Let's go team right here, right now, join me. So we lower, keeping that nice long spine, squeezing at the top. Abs are tight, tight, tight in, supporting that flat back position, uh-huh. Good, even my lats are working, my back muscles are working to support that nice long neutral spine here. Beautiful friends. 20 seconds left, we're over halfway. Nice. So in our next circuit, just a heads up, we're gonna be doing the same movement, but single leg. Oh yeah, baby. It's gonna be killer, it's gonna be great. Yes, we can, we got this. Three, two, last one. Nice job, you guys. All right, we're keeping these heavy weights. We are going to reverse lunge with the pulse. If you need to do a quick little shakeout, Totally cool. Do a little one of these guys. When you start to feel those forearms, hands, grip, starting to get tired, I got you. It's okay. Just shake it out. We're going together for those reverse lunges with the pulse back in three seconds. Roll those shoulders down and back. Let's do it, friends. Here we go. We step it back. We kick and squeeze. Then we alternate to the other leg. Again, keeping the front knee over the front heel. Tracking over the front toes. Same with that back leg. Making 90 degree angles here. Hip is right over that knee. Squeezing at the top. Yeah, we love that fire little squeeze. We have 10 seconds left, y'all. Last time doing this one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So good for us to use these functional movements in our workouts. These are the things we do daily, even without you noticing. Last three, two, and one. Nice job, friends. Okay, going into that weighted glute bridge. If you wanted to make this a hip thrust, if you have a couch or a bench, you could totally do this on there, giving yourself a little bit deeper range of motion, yeah? But here we are. I'm enjoying the lovely weather being outside, so I got the ground, and we're hitting it in five seconds, friends. Get that heavy weight, put it on your hip, we go in three, two, and one. All right, we squeeze, open, lower, good. Dig those heels down. If it helps you to flex your toes, you might find that activation a little bit deeper here, like I'm doing. Keeping those hips, trying to stamp the sky right now. Or if you're inside, you're stamping that ceiling above you. You squeeze even more when you open the knees. Yes, and do not forget to breathe. Yeah, good job, you guys. Channel that power within you. I know you've got it. We are not quitters. We are fighting to the end here. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing job, you guys. Okay, going into our little cardio blast. The in-out jumps, the burpee beast. Because we beast, right? Okay, so 
We're going right away. We're not stopping. We have three, two, and one. In and out. Getting that nice low hip. Burpee. Beast. Back. Yeah, I feel it in my quads on that beast. That in out. Right here. Whew. Yes. Keeping those hips nice and low. You got this, guys. 15 seconds left. We are not quitters. We power through. We're burning those extra calories right now, getting that heart rate up during our strength session. We got seven seconds left. Yes, we can. Last five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Check that first circuit off. That one's done. Get a sip of water. Towel off if you need to. We are just trucking along. So, going into our next circuit. Uh-huh, there is more. That's right, friends. Okay. Going into another squat variation here. It's a, catching my breath. It's a back squat, two prisoner walks, two squats. So. This is totally optional. If this doesn't feel good for you, you can hold the weight in a goblet position. I'll show you some other ways too. If you wanted with your heavy weights, you could hold them here. I'm going to show you this back squat variation. So picking up my heaviest weight, gonna press it up, put it on that cushy part of my upper back. And we're going to start on one side of the mat and make it to way make our way to the other. So we have low prisoner squats twice, two squats with a calf raise, then we go the other direction. Yeah, guys. Now, next round, I'm gonna challenge myself and put the booty band on, but if you have already got that booty band on, you go, girl. We go together in three, two, and one. So we're staying low, open, close, keep those cores nice and tight. We lift, lower, lift with the calves, lower, stay low. Good, everyone. Nice. This is really working that medial side glute that we always want to work on. Though we cannot spot reduce fat, we can build that muscle underneath. And then we reveal that muscle. Yes. There we go, there we go. We have 15 seconds, we are not quitting. It is burning me too, friends, I know. Stay nice and tall on that chest. Do not collapse over. Five. Four, three, two, one. Whoo, yes. So, if that was not comfortable, you can hold it like this next time, or like I showed you with two weeks. Those are your options. We're going into single leg RDLs right now. So you can do this with either one or two weights. I recommend using the opposite hand if you're only gonna use one. The opposite hand as the working leg. So, let me show you what it looks like with two, this first time. So keeping the shoulders down and back again. We've already done this movement with both feet. We're just gonna start with the right leg this time. So the left leg is behind us. We're gonna hinge at the hips. Option here, you can either leave this leg on the ground here like a kickstand, very lightly holding onto the floor, touching the floor as you go down and squeeze, or you can float that leg up as you lower and squeeze. Dancers, it is not a full on panche. We're keeping that spine neutral. We're keeping that slight bend in the front knee. Even the back knee, that's fine. We go together in three, two, and one. All right, friends, here we go. Right leg only this whole 45 seconds. Now it's okay if you need to touch that foot down in between. It's great if you don't have to. We fight for that balance, working that core while we work the lower part of our body. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Good job, you guys, keep it going. 15 seconds left. Yeah, and again, if you need to, you can always put that, foot, that back foot down as a little kickstand. Lower, keep that glute hinging back, squeezing at the top. We have five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, yes. All right, so that right one's done. Next, we are going into side lunge, front lunge. All on the right leg again. That's right, she's on fire. So, 
options here. If you want one weight, you can totally hold it like front, both sides, or I'm gonna go with two weights here. Cause this is my workout too today, y'all. So we're pushing ourselves. We're gonna sit those hips back. We come together. We go forward lunge, pressing off that front heel together. Join me in three, two, one. Sit those hips back. Come together, good. And forward, pushing off that heel. Same way again. Yeah, baby. Arms are just squaring off around that foot, like so. Nice job, everyone. 15 seconds left. Mm -hmm. I know, I know that right leg is working so hard. It's gonna get a rest in a little bit, I promise. But not right now. Now we work. Last five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Whoo, yes. All right, throw those down. We're picking up those light weights now. And actually you just need one. So how this is going to work, well, you could do two if you wanted to make the transition a little bit easier. So I'm going to find this all fours position. And I'm gonna put my weights in the crook of my knees here. We are going to donkey kick up to the ceiling and then jog feet to the side. That's right, I said it. Okay, keeping that core nice and tight, pressing evenly into the palms of the hand. We're going to lift eight here and then eight to the side. Now it's gonna be very effective with these light weights, but next time I'm gonna do this. Challenge yourself if you're already ready. We go together in three, two, one. Eight. Yes, everyone. Then eight to the side. Good, now make sure you're not dumping your weight into the right side right now. You wanna keep pressing into the hand of the leg that is working so that we're not sinking into the hip, good. Working that same, I should have done this, like doing that same right leg that we were working that whole time. There you go. Out to the side for eight. So now we're pressing into that right hand because the right knee is lifting. When you get to eight, you start again at the top. 15 seconds, guys, you got this. Keeping that nice long neutral spine. I kind of felt myself getting weak there and contracting. Make sure you lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. We have five seconds left. Four, three, two, one. Nice job. Okay, so good job. That was that right leg, super killer. The next circuit round of that, we'll do all the left side. So the right leg, she's cooked, yeah. But don't worry, I got a cardio blast for you right here and now. We are doing tuck jump, jack, two jumping lunges. Looks like this. Tuck jump, jack, jumping lunge. Yeah, you got this. We go in three, two, and one. Tuck jump, jack, jumping lunge. Right into tuck jump. Yeah, so good, you guys. Get these heart rates going even more. I know it's a lot on leg day. I know, but this is how we get stronger. This is how we progress to our strongest best selves. We have 15 seconds left. Let's get two full rounds in here. Last five, four, three, two, one. Okay, Ooh, I'm sweating y'all. Get a sip of water, towel off. We do all that one more time. That's right, but next time, left leg is gonna be hitting it hard. Okay, we got this, you and me. Okay, so this round, I'm stepping it up by adding my booty band. You go for it too, if you're feeling it with me. Let's get to it. We start in five seconds with that prisoner squat. Walk into two squats in the calf raise. We go together in three, two, one. Let's do it, friends. Staying nice and low here, keeping that chest lifted. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Yeah, this booty band makes it 
much harder here in these sidewalks, yeah. You're doing so good, you guys. Do not forget to breathe. Yes. Squeeze. Yeah, guys. Over halfway there. Nice. Knees are going over those toes here. Yeah, especially if you're using the booty band. We gotta fight extra. We got five seconds left. Four, three, two. Finish it out. Nice, okay. We go to that single leg RDL. So if you did both weights last time, you gotta do that on this side, we gotta be even. If you did one in opposition, totally fine. Ditch this band, find it really tricky to balance there with that. So for the single leg work, I'll get rid of it. We have five seconds, y'all. Get those weights. Set yourself up for success here. Nice, strong stance. Three, two, one. Okay, so again, you can use that back foot as a kickstand. Stick those glutes back, hinging at the hips, keeping the dumbbells close to that shin of the left leg. Nice and controlled on the way down, squeeze on the way up. If you want to, you challenge yourself with the float. Yeah, really works that standing leg, which is the goal here. We have 15 seconds left. Nice focus, everyone. You are so strong, stronger than you think you are. Prove it to yourself here. Three, two, last one, everyone. Nice job. Okay, going into side lunge on the left leg this time. So again, out to the side, going front. 90 degree angles in those knees. Chest stays lifted, long spine, glutes back. You know. We go together in five seconds. This is no joke, right? I'm like dying. Okay, let's go in three, two, and one, sit it back. Hinge forward, lunge forward, sorry. Press out that front heel, nice and strong. Good, good, good. Abs are tight here. Yeah, guys, good. Forward. So good, so good. You got this. Halfway there. Uh-huh. These legs have the largest muscles, the legs and glutes. So by working these, by building them stronger, we are going to be boosting that metabolism, burning more calories, just resting. Last five, four, three, two, one. Nice, y'all. Woo! Okay, getting that light weight on. This time, it's that left leg working the whole time. So, putting that weight behind us, we go. Back for eight, side for eight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just make sure. I'm just gonna make sure. Do not forget, this is really gonna fire it up. Yes. Trying to make it a little bit harder for myself here because if it doesn't feel like a challenge, guess what? It's not. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. So, it's okay. It's okay if you need to take a moment. All right, ready? Let's do it, here we go. Eight, up. Yeah, oh, this band, that adds a lot. Again, we're keeping that neck nice and long. Eight to the side. Yes, guys. Now, this is pretty effective even with just a heavy booty band. So if you don't want to use the light weights or if it's slipping or whatnot, if it's uncomfortable, like the weight's pinching you, you can totally ditch it and use the band instead. We're halfway there, guys. Do not give up. Right now is when the good stuff happens, yeah? Right now is when we're making changes. Don't forget, we're not dumping weight into that side that is supporting us on the knee. We're pressing into the hand of the leg that's working. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Y'all, we are going into our final cardio blast here. I'm dripping sweat, I don't know about y'all, but oh, she's sweaty, okay. Going into tuck, jack, jump lunge, jump lunge. Let's not think about it for too long, friends, because the sooner we're out, the sooner we're in, 
scratch that, reverse it. Here we go, we have tuck, jack, jump, and jump. Last 45 seconds of work, and we're out of here. You got this workout in. You are already making progress just by being here with me, making it through the end here. Yes, not quitting. We have 15 seconds left. Yeah, y'all. Come on, now so we power up. Let's get that tempo up. Last five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Guys, not a joke. Not a joke. So proud of you. Take a big inhale up. Take up space. Exhale, let it go. One more like that. Inhale up. Exhale, let it go. Good. Walk it over to a lunge here. Runner's lunge. So good today, you guys. Really good work. Good, press that left hand down. Twist that right arm up to the sky. Make sure you're lengthening through that back knee. Good, roll out those wrists. We have lifted a lot of heavy, held a lot of heavy dumbbells. We were on our hands, good. Good, take that right foot back. And now switch left foot in front. Opposite lunge, good, good, good. Lengthen through that left arm. Stretch that back right knee. Ooh, yeah. And circle those wrists. Both ways. You guys, I hope that you surprised yourself. I hope that you made yourself proud. But you know what? You took the first step and you showed up. And that is honestly the biggest and most important step. Take it to a downward dog here. Start to jog your heels, lengthening through the calves and the hamstrings. They worked hard for us today. Beautiful. Pressing the chest towards your thighs. Nice, now keep those heels down. Walk your hands towards your feet. Take a soft bend in your knees. Opposite hand to opposite elbow. Little rag doll here. Good. And as you continue to sway, roll up through each vertebrae. Head is the last thing to come up. Give yourself a big hug. Good, you guys. I hope you feel the fire all over like I do. Biggest thing you did for yourself today was showing up and doing this. Don't forget, something is always better than nothing. Well, this was definitely something, so check her off. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave me some comments if you did it, how you're feeling. Tell me how you're progressing. Tell me if you want to see more videos like this. And I'm so excited to keep growing, getting stronger with you. Hydrate, stretch a little, take care of yourself. I'll see you next time.